Hi, I'm Rick here at Speed Factor Racing in Tacoma, Washington, and today I'm going to be telling you about an exciting new product from our friends at Competition Clutch, the 8090ST Upgraded Flywheel and Clutch Combo Kit that they developed specifically for late model Honda and Acura vehicles equipped with K-Series engines. We are very excited about this product because there's been a legitimate need for this kit for a few years now, and the engineers at Competition Clutch listen to their customers' needs, and they really left no details overlooked with this kit. This vehicle behind me is a customer's K-Series Civic that's having a supercharger kit installed next week and with the additional torque and horsepower that the supercharger will provide, the clutch kit will need to be upgraded in order to transfer all that power to the wheels without the clutch slipping. This is a perfect opportunity for us to install Competition Clutch's 8090 kit, compare it to the factory clutch, and show you all the benefits that this kit has to offer. While Kevin gets started on the clutch removal, let's check out and compare the two options that Comp Clutch offers for the 8090 kit, the Stage 2 version and the Stage 3 version. The Stage 2 kit is the 8090ST2100, and this kit provides up to an 80% increase in torque capacity or 300 foot-pounds, and is properly suited for aggressive street use and moderate track use. The Stage 3 kit is the 8090ST2600, and this kit provides up to a 150% increase in torque capacity or 350 foot-pounds, and will provide the ultimate clamping force necessary for more serious street and strip combinations. As with any comp clutch kit, the first thing in the box is information on their contingency program and some decals. Next we have their redesigned throwout bearing, the clutch alignment tool, and a pilot bushing. This is the high performance pressure plate that's included in both the stage 2 and stage 3 kits. This is the Stage 2 high torque sprung disc with anti-burst steel backed brass plus facings. You can actually see the brass through the back here. They also include pressure plate 2 flywheel hardware which is a really nice feature of this kit. And last but not least we have the steel flywheel and the machining on this piece is very nice. Let's unpack the Stage 3 kit now. First thing you see is the same as the Stage 2, the contingency information and comp clutch decal pack. Next we have the same redesigned release bearing, clutch alignment tool, and pilot bushing. This is the same high performance pressure plate. This is where the kit has a big difference over the Stage 2, is the high torque Stage 3 sprung disc with segmented ceramic facings. The Stage 2 had a full face organic disc and this actually has segmented ceramic pads and they also added some springs in here and that really helps with smooth engagement. The same pressure plate to flywheel hardware is included and last but not least the same beautiful flywheel as we saw on the Stage 2. Let's get these laid out side by side for a further comparison. With the Stage 2 and Stage 3 kits both unpacked you can see that the components between both kits are identical with the exception of the clutch disc itself. Kevin is almost done removing the customer's clutch and flywheel from the vehicle and when we get this side by side with the 8090 kit you'll really be able to appreciate the engineering and thought that went into the kit that Competition Clutch developed for these applications. The first thing you'll notice when comparing the factory flywheel on the right to the 8090 here on the left is how much wider the 8090's clutch disc contact area is. The reasons that Competition Clutch widened the clutch disc contact area is because more surface area here equals more potential gripping for this kit's larger diameter clutch disc and also this distributes the thrust load on the engine's crankshaft more evenly. Since we will be installing the Stage 2 8090 kit in our customer's car, we are going to be comparing the Stage 2 disc here on the left to the factory Honda clutch disc on the right. Notice the larger contacting surface area of the 8090 disc compared to the factory. Also notice that the 8090's Brass Plus disc compared to the factory disc has a different hub spring size and configuration. And this factory disc is almost coming apart. The spring configuration on the 8090 disc is perfectly matched with the other components in this kit to provide a quick yet smooth clutch engagement and to prevent harmful shock to your transmission and related components. The clutch pressure plate assemblies have two obvious differences. When comparing the factory plate on the right to the 8090 on the left, the first thing you will notice is Comp's larger clutch disc contact area. Again, the larger surface area here means more gripping for the larger diameter disc. The other major difference in these pressure plates is that the 8090 assembly has larger fingers which are heat treated in order to increase the clamp load instead of a traditional aftermarket clutch's dual diaphragm style. This heat treat process increases clamp load on the disc and helps reduce pressure on the engine's crankshaft. The 8090's redesigned release bearing here on the left has a much larger pressure plate contact area than the factory release bearing on the right. 
This entire bearing was re-engineered to provide a consistent pedal feel and smooth load transfer between engagements. Just rolling these bearings by hand, there is a clear difference in the smoothness and quality, favoring the competition clutch release bearing. While Kevin is finishing up, I will share with you that one of the most important features of this clutch kit is that the weight of the new 8090 steel flywheel has been optimized for a smoother shifting feel, and unlike other clutch kits, this kit is perfectly tuned to avoid disabling the Honda Misfire Detection System, allowing your vehicle to retain its emission compliance specifications with no ECU reprogramming necessary. So now that the clutch install is finished, I'm going to go ahead and take the vehicle for a test drive and start the recommended 500 mile break-in period. And just a quick note, a common misconception about clutch break-in is that you have to baby it everywhere. And that's not true. But what that does mean is that there's no speed shifting, no burnouts, no clutch drops, but you can certainly take it through the RPM range. Pedal pressure from the pressure plate in the 8090 kit is 25% heavier than the factory spongy pressure plate, and it already feels really good and I haven't even took off yet. So. Very smooth takeoff. This ship's really nice, especially for what this kit is capable of holding power wise. I'm very impressed already. Speed Factor Racing is an authorized competition clutch dealer. Contact us today to get the ultimate clutch for your vehicle on the way. Thank you for watching.